Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. On Tuesday evening, February 20th, Manhattan Concert Productions will present Broadway Classics in Concert. This star-studded event will feature songs from some of Broadway's most beloved, award-winning composers and writers who we caught up with here at Sardi's right before the legendary night. <laughs> The Secret Garden was always one of my favorite books. As a kid, I read it to my daughter when she was old enough, and it felt like it could sing. Now, I didn't pursue that very much because I was working on Little House on the Prairie at the time, which didn't go anywhere, but, but um, people heard that I was, heard my music for Little House on the Prairie and said, that's, that's, that's an interesting idea. So I was approached by, um, by the producers, by Heidi Landisman, by Marsha Norman, and um, and I I did a, a song on spec because I had I had had a sense of the Secret Garden all my life. I knew what it would just sound like, so I wrote a song called "I Heard Someone Crying." Marsha had written uh, a a lyric for it, and I said, "That's what I'm doing." And they had been um, trying out a lot of different composers, but when they heard that, they said, "Yeah, that's the sound we're looking for." So. I did it, and Marsha and I had the most wonderful time writing it because we did it so speedily. You know, it just it just poured out of us, and <clears throat> and there it was. The writing of the Secret Garden was on a magical night. We were in in um, Saratoga, just doing a workshop of it, and. Um, I had suggested to Marsha, I guess the day before, I said, you know, Lily is always appearing and her eyes are always mentioned, the hazel eyes. Let's do a song called Lily's Hazel Eyes because everybody loved Lily. Archie loved Lily, ne Neville loved Lily. And actually, when we first wrote it, it was a trio. Ben, who, the, the gardener, also loved Lily. So on this night of the eclipse of the moon, I was in my little room with my little a piano, and I started to write it, and it just came out of me. It was so thrilling. Now, I had no idea. I mean, this was the first time I'd ever written for Broadway. I had no idea what it was, what it would do, if it would be accepted by anybody. Um, but I sort of felt that this was an important song. And the next day, I brought it to rehearsal and gave it to the, to the music company. And I said, you may not think so now, because I put it down on a, on a cassette with my voices. Up. <laughs> but I think this is going to be an important song. My, my writing is really a translation of the emotion that I'm feeling in writing. And it's a translation of what the characters are going through. So that's what I'm most proud of. I was able to get the emotional translation of what the show is about, of what Marsha's lyrics are about. Marsha you know, is, is mainly a book writer, but the lyrics that she writes are so deep, and, and it was a pleasure to wrap myself around the lyrics and find, find the musical translation. <laughs>